Um, the reason I'm doing this is because I'm renovating my home and uh, when I opened up the walls in the kitchen, once the inspector saw the walls opened, he said that you have to bring it up to the new code. You have to bring up the house to the new code right now, which is you have to, I, had to, I have to install uh, smoke detectors that are 120 volts throughout the whole house. There has to be one in each bedroom and one on each floor. So I started uh, running the uh, wires. Uh, it has to be a 14 gauge wire and uh, um, it has to be the, uh, there has to be three wires running into it, a black, a white, and a red. So this is, I started running it right here and this is the wire. Uh, just, I, well, whenever I found holes in the uh, joist, I just ran it through there. If I didn't, I just drilled. Ran it all the way through to my kitchen wall that is open because I didn't want to open any new walls. It's fine. I'll run extra, I mean, a longer wire just so I won't have to deal with opening up uh, drywall and stuff like that. That's it running through there. And I'm going to... Now here we are in the kitchen. Um, this is the wire that was coming out the basement. I draw a hole through it right there, ran it through the wall, and all the way up to the attic. Now, I'm, I'm going to get up in the attic and try to locate uh, where I'm going to... Um, lead the wire so I can uh, place the uh, the boxes. You have to have a box for each one and uh, uh, place each one, place all the wires in the box. You can't have any open wires. Now the easiest way to place the boxes is when you go up in the attic look for a stud that's running or joist if you have a two floor ho uh, home um, look for a, a stud running through and just take a screwdriver or whatever you can to poke a hole through the uh, drywall and uh, you know so when you get down from the attic you know uh, where you're gonna make your opening in the bedroom now once you get up in the attic, you're going to be looking around and like, oh, where's each bedroom? Where are the walls? Where does it start? Where does it end? So in my case, this is my attic opening. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go up in there. And uh, before I do that, I'm going to take a tape measure. And I'm going to measure about um, the distance from the attic opening to wherever I want the alarm on the wall. Then I'm going to go up in the attic and... Uh, use that same measurement to know where I'm going to drill my hole. So that's just a tip on uh, where to know where you're going to make your uh, opening in the uh, ceiling. So here you can see that I stuck the uh, screwdriver from uh, uh, the attic and then I went down just to make sure that uh, I'm going to be drilling my hole in a suitable spot. After that, I'll take my drill with the hole saw. I'll go up in the attic, and uh, I wanna uh, obviously I'm gonna take this uh, screwdriver out, and I'm gonna drill my hole saw as close to the um, uh, stud as I can because I'm gonna be using a uh, nail on uh, electric box, and uh, I need to nail it uh, to the stud. Okay, so this is where uh, I uh, took the wire into the. Uh studs all the way into the attic and I've already went ahead and uh, uh, connected everything 
Um, I haven't installed the uh, smoke detectors yet, but uh, I mean, it took me like four hours to do the wiring and go up in the attic. It is such a tough job. I mean, I saved a lot of money by doing it myself, but it was it was hectic. Anyways, so this is the uh, wire coming from the basement. This is the white one coming from the basement. It's going to go to a uh, smoke detector in the basement and then off to the uh, electric box. The panel going up and that's where it is. It's going in the attic. And then first I took it to, this is the box I installed for the first bedroom. Um, one tip, uh, before you drill the hole, get like a spare piece of drywall that you have um, or any piece of like plywood or anything or even a cardboard box drill a hole through it um, with your hole saw and then see uh, if your uh, box fits in uh, perfectly you don't want the hole to be, to be big and you don't want the hole to be small um, I messed up over here and drilled a big hole and I had to put a piece of uh, wood like this up in the attic and then drill screws so I can put that piece back in there. Um, if you drill it too big, you think you could patch it up, but it's going to be really difficult. So uh, test, test it out before you drill holes in your uh, ceiling. It'll save you a lot of time. So this is the, first, the wire that's coming from the uh, basement. And then I took another wire. Go into the one in the hall, comes out, goes back in to this second bedroom, comes out, goes back in, and then ends up here. So this is all the wiring. Now I'm going to take you to the basement and show you. Sorry, it's too dark in here. This box. This is the uh, first, um, you could say, cutoff or the first uh, smoke detector is going to be installed out of the whole wiring. So it goes in, comes back out, and then goes into the laundry room. There it is. Um, the electric inspector said I have to put a, a separate uh, breaker for the smoke detector um, system. And uh, I'm gonna do that right now. So I've already got my uh, breaker, 15 amp. You can put a 20 amp if you want to, but just that's it wouldn't make sense. I mean, you don't need you don't even need 15 amp for this, but you the lowest you can go, I guess, is 15 amp. So um, when you pick out your breaker, you have to make sure that it fits on your panel. Not all breakers fit on all panels. Um, this is a uh, copper hammer panel, and uh, this breaker right here is the same uh, manufacturer. Some different manufacturer may fit on different panels, but just make sure that you know your uh, that the breaker that you get fits on your panel. That's all. So this is how you saw you just fit this in there. And you try to push it in and it's in. Now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take my wire right here, fit it in through one of these openings, probably this one right there, and then connect the ground on one of the on the ground. I don't think I have an extra spot. I'm gonna have to use a I'm gonna have to put two into one. And this right here is my neutral. Okay, so uh, I just opened up the first uh, smoke detector. It comes with this connector. You just fit it in, and I don't know if you could see, but it says here uh, white, interconnect, orange, or red, and uh, black. So, with your wires, remember we used uh, a uh, three wire, 14 gauge. If you want to pick one at the store, it basically says 14 3 on it means 14 gauge and three wires in it plus the ground wire so that's a total of four wires running through this you're gonna connect black to black white to white 
red to red to orange or whatever the interconnect wire is on the uh, smoke detector. And that's just it.